Welcome to a brand new week. And all too soon, uh, we are at the end of the first month of the year 2022. Uh, time flies very quickly, and January has come to an end, and we have 11 more months to go. And may the Lord who has brought you to the end of this month see you through every month throughout this year. So we return to our study of the Psalms. As you know, we've been doing a study of the Psalms from Psalm 1 onwards. And so today we go to Psalm 9, and uh, we'll be doing selected verses from Psalm 9. We start with verses 1 and 2. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Psalm 9 is a psalm of David, and it is a psalm that intersperses with thanksgiving, with hope for deliverance. Uh, and as is usual in David's encounters with God, uh, he is seeing God in the midst of his enemies and all the things that are coming against him. And in the midst of that, he speaks to us about God. And one of the things we learn from the opening uh, verses of this psalm is the way David uses the phrase, I will. And, and so there are four I wills in this passage that we'll take a look at. The first one, he starts by saying, I will praise you. That is a statement of intention and a statement of choice. So praising God is something we choose to do. And so David uh, doesn't tell us the situation he's in, but he says, whatever I'm in, I will praise you. It's by our will, by our choice, that we praise God. So that's the first I will that we see uh, from David. And then he continues by saying, I will tell of your marvelous works. So David is telling us how to praise God. When we're praising God, we tell of his marvelous works. We recount his works. We remember what he has done and we rehearse it or we speak it. The songwriter says you count your blessings and you name them one by one. When you forget what God has done, you cannot praise him. You can only complain about where you are, but when you remember what he has done, what he did last year, what he did 10 years ago, uh, what, what he did yesterday, then you can praise him now, even though you are not in the best of conditions. So he says, I will praise you. I will tell of your marvelous works. And then I like the third one. He says, I will be glad and rejoice in you. There, there is something to note about David. He says, I will do that. In other words, I'm choosing to be glad and rejoice in you. What does it mean? I, I'm not in a joyful place at this moment. I'm not in a happy place. Life is not going on well for me, but I will. I choose to rejoice and be glad. We have the choice to complain, to murmur, to be sad, to be defeated by our struggles, or to praise God even though we are not in a pretty place. So many things can surround us, and, and they may not be good things, and, and life has its own way of throwing all kinds of stuff against us, but we will rejoice and be glad. And I just want to encourage you to choose to be joyful, choose to be glad, choose to rejoice, choose to remember what God has done for you, because that is how we win our battles. I will rejoice. And then finally, David says, uh, I will sing of your name. So David is telling us in all this praise, I'm talking about who the Lord is. I will magnify him. I will remember his works and I will praise his holy name. So that's how we start our week. Choose this week to praise the Lord, to thank him for your life, thank him for what he has done for you. At least we've come to the end of January. That's something to be thankful for and choose to be glad. 
Even though there is some pain in your life, you choose to rejoice in the Lord. That's how we start the first day of this week. It's going to be a marvelous week. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your marvelous works in my life. I choose to praise you continually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.